Hey guys, Dimitendo here, and today we're going to be unboxing some Lego minifigures from series 26 of the minifigures. 12 to collect. We haven't done one of these minifigure reviews in a while. Ever since Lego Mario or Looney Tunes CMF series, now we have the actual Lego CMF series, in which we have series 26, which is space themed for like outer space. Alright? 12 to collect these are random blind boxes so i don't know who i'm gonna get in these but i really hope to get this guy and this guy i really like i like the classic astronaut and i like the alien is it like an alien vacation guy he's pretty cool taurus alien taurus we'll call him alien taurus and then that's the mtv spaceman so let's get these opened up now, I'm not sure how they're supposed to go, but I feel like open them through here. I, don't kind of, I kind of don't want to ruin the boxes, so I'm going to poke through here, maybe. Cut through here. Let's see who we get. Okay, so who do we get? It seems like we got who we wanted since the beginning. The alien Taurus. Ah, oh, I'm happy I got this one. All right, now that we got the figure all built up, it looks like the figure is pretty cool. He has a little fedora on his hat in that teal color. He has the alien classic look with the big black eyes and the little beady dots, white dots in his eyes. And he has the gray skin and he has the vacation shirt. And he puts, the, I thought this was a funny detail. He puts love earth. Like Heart Earth. Maybe he's a nice alien in the lore of the Lego minifigures. But I thought that was kind of funny because aliens are known to like take over or want to take over Earth. And then there's a blue backpack. Um, which is pretty cool and funny too. I like the, like, the alien being a tourist. It is really funny, I think. He has like gray shorts. He has the, I guess, what do we call it? like little kid minifigure legs which means they don't move so they're like static but his arms move and his head moves too but then he has a little camera with the little clear dot as the glass or like the zoom for the camera so i thought that was pretty cool these the lego camera piece in black and they used they use a new base which the base isn't all black anymore but it's it has sparkles on it now from like galaxy like space and I really like that because I think that would also be kind of good to put my Mario figures on. I think having that galaxy with Mario would be kind of cool. Alright, well let's move on to the next unboxing of the next figure. And I didn't mention this before, but apparently there's some instructions that come in here. Which show a little alien beetle guy here. We get a little robot right here with the robot penguin. Uh... Then we get this space guy. Not too sure about that one. And I like the red though. Red, red's always good. Red's my favorite color. That's why. And then we got specific instructions if we get that astronaut. So hopefully we get that astronaut. But we could put the alien Taurus off our checklist. Let's see the other figures that came out with this wave. We see this this little um, kind of 70s vibe that I'm getting from her. Like, like from one of those 70s alien space shows, maybe. It's actually pretty funny, I think. Um, and then we got an alien controlling a human's face. 
Many aliens are controlling a human's face, disguising themselves to look like him. I think it's cool, but it's all. I think it's cute. The aliens are cute, but it looks also kind of creepy to me. A little disturbing, not gonna lie. Um, and then we have a female astronaut, the one we're trying to get, right? There's this guy, which I really like, but um, I really, I really want this one more, just because it looks like the MTV astronaut. And then we got this uh Ana de Armas look alike <laughs> with a baby astronaut in pink. And then we have this saucer man. Then we have Oh wow, another female. Like these are two that were masked, so you couldn't tell if they were male or female. That's actually pretty cool, they're both female. That's really cool. Uh, and then one more which looks like a two-armed bad guy which that's weird I want to see the molding for the arm because he has like three arms they figured out a way to do that it looks so strange but I like it and then there's this uh, galaxy woman uh, eh, that one looks kind of eh to me in my opinion and then there's this little robot butler droid which looks eh again you know I like I like the little springy pieces though, that they use on the legs and this little beetle alien which I like the face print. It reminds me of like Halo minifigures. If they were to make Halo into Lego. So that's pretty cool. So let's open up the next box. Alright. Almost there. Yeah. Alright. Let's do it. And let's see who we got. Whoa, 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 all those pieces just came flying. Whoa. Okay. And it finally looks like we got what we wanted, the astronaut. Woo! Okay, we're on a roll today. Can't believe I managed to pick him out. What the heck? Anyways, we're going to build the astronaut. We're going to show you how I built it. And we've built our astronaut lady. Okay, so it looks like the MTV astronaut. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. Same galaxy base. There's prints on her chest which are really detailed and cool. I like the uh, astronaut, the old original astronaut look, like Neil Armstrong look. There's the red stripes on there. This classic stuff on here. There's also the new technology for the newer astronauts on here, which includes their backpacks, which now have like grips and handles i don't know if that's exactly new or old i i don't really have a history with astronauts but i feel like it's new there's a little camera scope now on the sides of them and a light i feel like that's new i feel like that's been included um after neil Armstrong went on the moon 
And then there's the giant backpack and a nice 2x3 print, which is amazing. I don't know how they made this piece or this mold, but it's really, really fine, detailed, good. And then, of course, the helmet with that classic golden shine, just perfect added to that. Um, I like the, you know, helmet protecting, or sorry, the, what is it? I forgot, the head wrap? Yeah, the head wrap that goes around the person that is flying into space. That's actually really cool. I like the new approach they're taking with uh, specific Lego themes. This isn't the first time they've done it. They've done it with, uh, I believe, monsters. So like for Halloween and all that, so they made that into a minifigure series. And this would be, I guess, the second time they do a specific theme for it. And the specific theme is space. And I really like alien space, all that stuff. I used to like that a lot when I was younger. But now I just thought, oh, this is pretty cool. I think it would be kind of cool to unbox, review, see who we get. Hopefully we get the right figures. All right, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Wait, let me give my two cents, actually. I just forgot. Okay, so for here, we're gonna list the pros and give our final thoughts. Woo, final thoughts time. The pros. The pros of these figures are the detail, the prints, the exclusive base that it comes with, the exclusivity of it, I guess, and uh, some of them have really creative ideas. The ones I got are really creative. I like the way they were built, the new molds and everything. Awesome. There are no cons to me, actually, because I thought that there would be, like, some cons. But, well, I guess there are a couple figures I don't like. I mean, just a couple, but I think the rest look creative. Like, this two-armed guy, this beetle from Halo, and not this robot butler. I kind of like the leg molds, though, so... This one, not really. I like the robot lady over here. I like the, th this one just creeps me out. I like it, but it creeps me out. This, I like the 70s type look. Um, the saucer man on there, a moss right there. And then this red and black guy, really cool. I like almost all of them, except for just a couple of them. But other than that, yeah, that's the pros and cons. I would give this minifigure series an A plus, honestly, because the figures that I got, at least, an A plus, because those came out really really good and really captured like really funny this one's like supposed to be kind of comical um even with that i love earth shirt and then this one's supposed to be like realistic kind of representing our astronauts that we have today today's world so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below of all these figures and bye guys dmitendo out make sure to like subscribe and comment and make sure you turn on that notification bell for any new videos obviously and so i advise you to check out our older videos with a lot of more minifigure reviews including the mario ones and the bugs bunny ones all right well i'll see you guys on the next one bye guys dimi tendo out